Hello everyone, welcome to your third tutorial. As I promised, I'll show you some examples on um, classification and regression as types of supervised learning. Okay, and um, don't forget to follow me on social media and uh, don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel. If you want to subscribe on my YouTube channel, you just visit youtube.com slash c slash brain ten and um, hit the red subscribe button by the right and then you subscribe which means next time I make new videos you'll get a lot and uh, if you want to donate don't forget to uh, visit this URL and uh, donate here is my user ID use it to donate all right okay um, we're back to our tutorial on the supervised learning you have two main um, dichotomy the first one is a uh, classification I have written the definition for you here. It is the problem of identifying to which of a set of categories or subpopulations a new observation belongs to. Okay, on the basics of of a training set of data containing observations or instances whose category membership is known. That is, you feed some training data set into the, your machine learning system or algorithm, then you help it identify. What, which, what each is. So you feed, uh, for instance, a, a training data set of humans, then uh, you help it identify that this is a man, this is a woman, this is a man, this is a woman, um, maybe 5,000 on both sides. Then uh, the computer learns that, uh, learns the features of a typical man and the features of a typical woman. So when you, f when you present it with a new human being, it will do some basic comparisons and classify and tell that this is a man this is a woman that is classification you're just trying to find a set of categories or subpopulations a new observation belongs to now um, there are some tips to know um, um, which problem is this classification problem or regression problem uh, the first tip is classification is when you are picking from one of n values and each wrong prediction is equally wrong so if we are trying to um, predict if a number is even number, even or odd, and you are given from 1 to 10. Every time you make a mistake, 1, 3, 5, 7, every time you make a mistake, it's totally wrong. You, you, don't, approach, uh, you don't approach correctness by increasing the number of times you make mistake. No, that is um, a classification you either right or wrong. Okay, so if you are given a problem and you are asked in machine learning uh, uh, questions, if you are asked, is this a classification or regression problem? In classification, just check whether your chances of getting it right increases as you make mistakes. Um, so if it doesn't increase, if, if each wrong prediction is equally wrong, then it's classification. Then the next thing is, uh, is discrete value outputs, all right? Or something called class labels. Uh, discrete value outputs in the sense that you are trying to check whether it's one or zero. Is it an even number or odd? That's it. Okay, and then in regression, regression uh, measures the relationship between data. That is um, sort of, um, how do I put it? It, it, um, it has a continuous valued output. All right, um, you can, the numbers are in R. We'll soon see, um, let's see some practicals. I, I did more explanations in the video before this one that you've seen. So let's see some practical so you understand exactly um, what we're talking about, some examples. All right, here we are in the first uh, problem, the first example. Here is a classification problem. Um, let's assume that you are trying to find, maybe we suspect uh, we, or we found a relationship between uh, the weight of a certain goat. Let's assume that the, the goat species are uh, uh, of the same age is the same species and they are the same age and we found a relationship between the overall weight of the goat and its gender and then um, it seems to us that as the weight increases uh, it's more likely to be male if it's heavier and if it's lighter it's more likely to be female again this is an assumption all right then um, we measured different goats we got like a sample of um, let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten goats so we got exam a, a sample of ten goats and we measured their weights and we found out that uh, more, more females are, are lighter and the more males are heavier all 
All right. So the first one we got was a female. So it was um, around three kg. This is in kg kilograms. It was around three kg. So we marked it as female. This is male. The second one we got was a female. It was around six kg. We marked it. We got another one which was around 7.5 kg. We marked it. It was female. Then we got one male which was around 8 kg. One male. Then we got another female which was around 12 kg. Then we got another male which was around 13. And then we got one female which was 19. Then the rest we got was um, males which was between 17 and uh, 23. Alright. So when we have a data like this, we are basically trying to um, find whether it's male or female, which means the next time we have a new animal species, a new um, goat, a new goat specimen, we have a new goat, and we measure the age. If the weight, if the weight falls somewhere around here, uh, our algorithm can simply judge that this falls within the horizon of the average uh, male species male goods okay so we we have something that falls around this weight so we can now say hey uh, more males fall within this range and therefore it is male all right so this is cl basic classification problem we're trying to find whether it's male or female okay and um, let's check as you can see this is discrete valued output it's either male or female sometimes um, um this is basically we're just using two features we are, we are measuring the gender, which is uh, male or female, and against the weight. Uh, in, in typical real-world problems, we could be using several features. Uh, features like um, the, the tone of the voice, the, the weight, the, the size of the head, you know, different things. The speed. So that's when we have multiple features, okay? If we have multiple features, uh, um, we will need to use a more uh, complex software to measure that or software that has a, a much better algorithm to measure it okay then the next thing we want to check here is the, the regression this is classification it, let's take a regression example this is the regression aspect okay so here we have um, the same goat species and we are trying to find how much we will sell the goods, all right? So we're trying to find um, how much this goods will cost. All right, so we have uh, this um, graph, and then um, this is in thousands. So we have 10,000 there, 20,000 there, 30,000, 40, 50,000. Then we have the weight of the goods. We have five kg, 10 kg, 15, 20, 25 kg of goods. And we have a, a, a data point of how much we've sold goats in the past. So for instance, right here we have um, the first goat we had, we, we sold a goat that was around 4 kg for 10,000 Naira in the past. So sometime later we sold a goat of um, around 6 kg for around um, 17,000 Naira. Okay, that's what this graph means. These are the these are the um, data points. These are the class labels. So what we have is um, we can draw a line, a linear line here. So we can draw a linear um, line here for if we wanted to use a linear regression algorithm and say um, this is the average. Um, Price will get a goat. So if we have another goat that weighs, let's say, um, nine kg, we, we get a new goat and it weighs weighs nine kg. So how much are we going to sell this goat? So this algorithm, we're, we're trying to use this algorithm to predict how much do we sell this goat. Our goat weighs nine kg, and we have we already have this sample data set. So what do we do? Um, we we'll put it. The algorithm basically plots, con tries to connect this um, to, to wherever it um, connects to the graph. So we can see that this goat, according to a linear regression algorithm, 
this goat should cost um, somewhere around um, 21,000 naira. Okay, it weighs 9 kg according to the data we have of how much many goats have been sold. So this one should cost 21,000 naira. But linear regression um, algorithm is not the only way. We can use a, we could use a curve, more of quadratic. Um, let me draw a better line. Uh, we could use a curve that uh, cuts across um, the average number of goats. Um, this is not a wonderful example. Okay, assuming this was balanced and it really um, worked. So if we used a curve, it means that this actually will extend to this line before if we connect it we we'll see that using a, a quadratic function, um, we we'll see that this this goat should have actually costed thirty three or thirty two thousand naira. Okay, so um, these are two different ways to do that. So whether you use the linear or the quadratic, it will end up um, you will end up having um, what you want or your prediction. So it depends on the situation and which curve you should use. We'll see better, deeper examples in the future. Or further down the series so this is it um, this is regression and this is uh, classification so I believe it's it's now simpler for you to know here as we here we use the average to try to find a, a cost you understand but then we are trying to find basically true or false okay uh, one last example so back to our classification as we have this kind of data that we uh, how much we sold different uh, goats or, or how much goats weigh according to the agenda so we if we plotted a graph and we realized that most um, most females fall into uh, this part of our graph and most males their weight fall into this part of the graph all right so um, what our algorithm might want to do is to plot a line our algorithm might want to draw a line to divide this so well that's when we have multiple features you know we used um, two features before which was basically size and uh, weight but what if we had multiple features like head we used gender and weight what, what would you use um, head size and um, color of skin um, speed and so on to um, to as features and then uh, right here we have um, weight at the bottom here we have weight then at this size we have gender so that that makes it a total of five features okay so what if we had these five features uh, you'll see that this thing um, our graph will look more like this because it will now have uh, several different dimensions not just um, two-dimensional graph several different dimensions so what our algorithm does is plot a line in between it so that if uh, a new sample is brought in and the algorithm measures it and overall the new sample falls into somewhere here our algorithm can say hey um, this is um, an average male good then if it falls in somewhere here it can say hey this is an average female good okay so um, just to let you know that you can use infinite number of features um, to do your classification and uh, regression all right so thank you very much see you in the next video tutorial where we'll see on supervised learning algorithm thank you